Hello and welcome everyone, this is Botany and Board. I am Bailey, and today we are here for a nice quick little playthrough of Town 77. So let's take it to the board, shall we? Town 77 is super simple, so in order to play it solo, you actually don't need the little easels, although when you play it multiplayer you do, and it's really adorable that they have these. <laughs> but we're gonna play it solo today, so I'm gonna take out all of my tiles. And the rules are so simple. So I'm going to be trying to assemble as big of a town as I can. Seven by seven grid would be perfect. Uh, but I am not allowed to put the same color nor type of shape into each row or column more than once. So it's kind of like doing a Sudoku puzzle, but with shapes and colors <laughs> instead. Um, and I loved Sudoku growing up. I was a hostess for a while at a steakhouse in college, and so I would sit there and do Sudoku puzzles as I waited for people to come in and out. So, a little bit of extra tidbit for you <laughs> on that. So, okay, I am going to go ahead and these are shuffle, essentially. It's good enough. Uh, flip these over. I'm gonna put three tiles in front of me. And I, these are my tiles that I will be able to pick from. I can only take one from the top and I have to assemble it in my grid adjacent to a tile that I already have sitting there. And the goal of the game is just to try to get as many as you can out and then you score points uh, based on that. So <clears throat> it gives us a little chart um, that says if we could get 49 tiles placed, which is the seven by seven, that it's the holy grail, you're now the representative of Earth. Uh, I don't think that's going to be us. <laughs> um, the next category is even an Olympic gold medal is in your reach. Yeah, that's also not going to probably happen for us here today. But let's just say <laughs> that we get maybe 31 to 36. Let's shoot for that. So this is amazing. Number one in the country isn't just a dream. Dream. So we we shall see. It could get something like really small, like or what I'm famous for doing is I don't realize that I've placed something in an invalid way, and then I keep going, and then I'm like, oh shoot. So we might have to do it where I play a couple times through with you guys, because again, it is very simple. So I'm kind of just signing these. I do wish there was an easier way to shuffle them, because you need them to be all face up, you know, obviously. Um, but it makes it a little hard to shuffle. You're technically also supposed to have all the whites to the bottom, but I know what the shape looks like. Okay, so we can now uh, begin. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing. All right. <clears throat> okay, away we go. So let's start with this little blue guy. So he is in the top of my town now. Okay, now I can pick one of these other three. I'm gonna go ahead and take a gray since I have a little bit of a gray situation on our hands, let's just say. So I'm gonna take this here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my gray then. Next, since I know I have that kind of a issue. Now you'll see that blue, so for instance I couldn't place this here because then it has the triangle. So you see the, it's just nice where you're like just organizing your town. See how well you can do. So let's go ahead and take the, so we have double triangles again. Let's go ahead and put one double triangle to this side and one double triangle here. Okay. So we can have a single triangle up here and let's go ahead and do purple here. The red triple here, let's bring in the yellow. Okay, so blues. So I can put a blue here, but now I've kind of sequestered it, unfortunately, with this. So let's go ahead and throw in this green, which 
will give us some space in order to then I can put to go red so I can go ahead and put a triangle blue here so the triples I've already have it here here so triple could go up here in yellow oops Okay, now we have some double triangle peaks of Now let me do a brief pause to make sure I haven't invalidated something already. I have. There's two yellow. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know when that mistake was exactly, so I will put what my actual score was in the footage because essentially that will have ended it and I will not be able to go. So let's go ahead and reshuffle and try again. So we have our three piles set up, so let's try this again this time <laughs> and try not to just do a dumb mistake. Uh, okay, let's start with this color. Feeling good about oh, like that color. And then let's come in with the purple down and purple to the side. Then let's build out the red down for blue. So then I can throw the purple again. Okay. So this one is gonna be stuck for a little bit, so I need to build a way to get to it. So let's do three here, and then three here. I'll go ahead and put the two. So red here, that shape, triangle in this, I've already been in this column, down here, let's go ahead and use the triangle to the side, use this one. Double triangle and an orange, and I go put that there. So I think this gray and that way work there. And then this guy, so I've used it in the first row. Haven't used it in the second, so and this one haven't used gray yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Purple, purple. Can put a purple here. Okay. So let's take a brief moment again and pause and see. <laughs> Make sure I have any mistakes. So green, good, purple, good, gray, blue, and then shapes. So I have not made any mistakes yet. Good job, Bailey. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have orange, a couple of triangles, orange, blue, and then that double. So I can do a double triangle here. Let's do that. The single triangles are even used here, not here though. So let's do a single triangle blue here 
orange and yellow. So yellow, this one, I think we can put it here. New shape, haven't seen that one yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put this as seven because we don't have a red here just yet. Don't have a triple up here in orange, so we'll do that. Okay, brief pause if I mess anything up. <laughs> Don't see duplicates. What do I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it needs to be a yellow up here. And yellow and this is what I need. Okay. Okay, okay. And up across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because so again, I'm only missing one thing here. So. This one has the one, the two, the three has that one. I almost need like a little picture of all the, here we go. <laughs> Different types, like which one am I missing? The, this one. Okay, so that one and then the color I'm missing is gray. So this gray needs to go here. <laughs> that is its piece. Um, so let's, hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later uh, okay so this one we have used here here third row so we haven't used that in the fourth row so we're gonna go ahead and so only here and here can go green well not there because of that one but this column here so this could go green beside it with a double triangle but gray also could have I already picked this one up, so that is what she wrote. So gray, double triangle, unfortunately. Can't have double triangle there. Orange, single triangle, could go here or here. Let's go down. Okay, yellow, single triangle can go here um, yellow double can go here yellow double can also go here so let's put it here so I can get rid of the problem I have with this one so this needs to go here, okay, and then this is the one I was looking for. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have done gray, 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 gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's two more gray here. Now, do I have any valid placements for them? Two can't go there and can't go there. And the other place Greg can go is here. And the two cannot go here, and the triangle cannot go here. So I am getting to the point where I am gonna be stuck on these, because these will have no legal placement, unfortunately, for them to go. Uh, but let's see if I can get that purple out still. So purple in three, and the easiest way is just to go this way. And another purple, so purple, 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 purple. So these two rows haven't used purple, and that one already has that. Here, that one already has that. That one has purple, and I can't get down to here. So that is as far as we were able to come this time on Town 77. So I didn't mess up, at least I actually got to the part. So let's see what my score was. So I have uh, seven, eight, twenty-nine which was not quite as good as I thought maybe I could do, but we are state champion. Next up, all nationals, something like that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that is how a uh, town 77 goes. I think it's just really like nice and easy to pull out. I've actually haven't played it at the um, two to five player game. 
uh, rules wise I always just play it like this and it's just fun to see if I can get all the little grid out and I like the nice bright colors has a nice like clean but like vibrant look to it so yeah so this is town 77 I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you all so much for hanging out and I'll see you next time